Revelation chapter number 9 verse number 17 and thus I saw the horses in the vision and them that sat on them having breastplate of fire and adjacent and brimstone and the heads of the horses were as the heads of lion and out of their mouths issued fire and smoke and brimstone we are in our book of Revelation series chapter number 9 and we are currently on verse number 17 amen and we're talking about when the sixth angel blew his trumpet or shofar amen this is part of the seven trumpet series but these last three trumpets were part of the three woes they were in a category all by themselves amen and that's what we're on where the sixth angel blew his shofar or trumpet and we know that the four angels were loose that was chained at the bottom of the river euphrates amen and when they were loose the scriptures tells us in the preceding verses how it appears that when these angels was loose somehow i do not know through political manipulation a great army of 200 million was gathered together and these 200 million caused havoc like we haven't seen before amen let's read this verse in a different translation let's read it in the jewish complete jewish bible verse number 17 here is how the horses looked in the vision the riders had breastplate that were fire red iris blue and sulfur yellow the horses heads were like lions heads and from their mouth issued fire smoke and sulfur amen we're going to try to give some suggestions of what the apostle might have seen although we do not know exactly but let's try to give an illustration at what could the apostle john have seen now he talks about this horses and we know horses is what they used as a mode of transportation back in that day horses is what they carried people around on so you're looking at a vehicle or something that carried men around that was armor clad because it talks about the armor amen if we take a look at we can see how you could have a military vehicle amen and if it was painted or armored personnel vehicle with a person standing up here if you had no idea of modern day technology you will consider this a type of horse or a type of transportation for people amen you can see with the paint it actually gives it the look of teeth and a head or face let's look at another this is another illustration of where a person's on top of a armored vehicle amen we can see it actually looks like a person you can see it's painted with different things but what really really struck me if we take a look at this we can see how in war times they painted the faces of planes and different things this plane is painted with the face of a shark mouth it's very easy to say if you had a tank painted like this or some type of armored personnel vehicle it's very easy to say the mouth of a lion amen because if you looked at this that's exactly what you would see but if you look at this this will look just like whatever this is was spewing out fire and brimstone and smoke amen amen 
this military vehicle shooting off cannons. Amen. Spewing out fire and smoke right out of its mouth. Very, very easy to see how the Apostle John could have saw something like this and tried his best to describe it in the terms that he knew best. Not knowing anything about our armored clad vehicles, not in, knowing anything about cannons and rockets, side rockets, not knowing anything, just seeing a man on top of some vehicle shooting out something deadly. Amen. Fire and smoke issuing out. Amen. It's very, very easy. Or the Apostle John could have saw something that we have no idea and is yet to be revealed. Amen. What a time. God, in the name of Jesus, we actually look on to help your people everywhere. We give you all the praise, the honor, and the glory. Thank God. Amen. Have a wonderful day.